Hey everyone, today I'm doing a what's in my bag video on this purse and it's part, this purse was featured in my blog post, um, my what I got for Christmas blog post. So if you're interested in what I got for Christmas, even though Christmas was like two months ago um, at all, I'll link that down below. This is the purse that I got and it is a Mark by Mark Jacobs. I had a blue one, but I sold that one and a couple months later I bought this one. because I like this one a little bit better. It's a too hot to handle tote. And it's in the color mink. And it's just like a hobo bag. It's very minimalistic. I love how it functions as a satchel, a shoulder bag, and a messenger bag. Um, because you can actually remove the handle. But I just keep both components just because I like using it sometimes as a satchel, sometimes as a messenger throughout the day. I don't know why. I'm just weird like that. I also love how this bag, how it's minimalistic in the sense that the bag itself, the bag itself is really simple. But the label of the bag is also very simple so that you're not really like, you know, reinforcing it to be like a certain bag that you want everyone to know what it is and stuff like that. Does that make any sense? It doesn't make any sense then whatever medication I'm on today, I'm sick by the way, is messing me up. <laughs> so anyways, let's, let's just go ahead and get into the bag before I say any other nonsense. So this is what the inside looks like. There are two pockets in the front, and then there's one zipper pocket in the back, and then there is a magnetic closure, which is easy for me because I always throw things in my bag all the time. So let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing I have in here that I can see is my um, agenda. I almost forgot what this is called. It's my agenda. It's by Etitude House. It was part of their let's see, Princess Etoinette makeup collection. For Christmas and they came up with agendas and random whatnot but it's a really cute agenda it looks like a fairy tale storybook basically and you just fill it up with whatever you really want really the funniest thing about this is that I came with a sticker that looks like a mirror and I stuck it right here and then I thought to myself why did I stick it here because that's like probably the most this is probably the most conceited looking agenda ever if I stick a mirror sticker right there but whatever next I have some Pacifica Tuscan Blood Orange Body Butter. And the reason why I have this is because I was too lazy to go out and buy a hand cream for one thing. Second of all, since this is a travel size lotion in some form, shape, way, I just wanted to use it on my hands because my hands have been really, really dry and kind of like rough, I guess. I can't explain. But this has been helping just a little bit and I just love the smell. Like I love the smell of anything citrusy. So this has helped a lot. Next is a pen. Should we even discuss this pen? I don't think so. So next, I have my stylus for my iPad. I honestly do not know how the hell it got in here, but let's just say it got in here somehow. Then I have my phone. I have an iPhone 5. It's white. And then the case is an iAudi case. I'll just let you guys look. I got this case off Groupon, and it's supposed to be like when you drop it, is it, it's supposed to like absorb shock and the electrical currents and some form of electrical currents. I don't know, but it's kind of bulky. It makes it look like an S3, kind of, even though the S3 like camera is right here. My camera is over here. It kind of makes it look like that, but I like this case. I mean, I wanted a pretty case, but this case is fine in like the long term situation where I do end up dropping my phone. So next. By the way, I'm at these two front pockets right here. I should, I probably should have showed you before, but you know, whatever. I have two lip products in the pocket next to my phone pocket. The first one is this lipstick from Glossy Box that I'm obsessed with. It's called Glossy Pink, and the company that made it, I think it's Kryolan or something. And it's just like a like um, it's just like a pink that would go with everyone's skin tone. Basically, it looks like this. And I've used a lot of it, as you can tell. And I've been trying to savor it, but then I found out that there's a color very similar to this at the drugstore that I'm going to pick up. And then I have a lip balm. This is the Nivea Kiss of Berry Swirl Vitamin Enrich Lip Care SPF 10. And it smells really, really yummy. It just smells, it smells like a lip smacker, except it's an adult lip smacker, if you know what I'm saying. I used to have lip smackers. 
all the time when I was younger and this just reminds me of a lip smacker even though it's Nivea and it works pretty okay I guess I mean it's a three dollar lip balm it should work somehow okay next I have my wallet um, I've had this wallet for three years I did buy a new wallet a couple months ago but I returned it because I just didn't like the quality of it it was just terrible so I went back to using this again and I just haven't bought a wallet since because I don't know what wallet to buy if you have any suggestions on what wallets to buy between the 100 to 200 range let me know because I'm looking to invest in one between those price ranges anything higher I'm probably not gonna buy okay next I have some snacks I have my skinny cow dreamy clusters and these are the dark chocolate ones and they are the bomb diggity bomb I don't even know why I just said bomb diggity bomb but I just invented a word just to save my life um, my friend actually brought this to college one time and she gave me one and they're really good I remember we were eating it in the car and we dropped one in one of the cracks in the seat and I could never find it ever again so I could never find it but anyways these are really really good and I'm pretty much down to this and uh, like two more in the box and I just bought these yesterday like can you believe it yeah I've been addicted to chocolate lately and those are really really good how many times have I said that they're really really good they're freaking good okay and next I have I have a cherry dum-dum I do not know why I have a cherry dum-dum in my purse but um, I have a cherry dum-dum next I have my car keys and I guess I'll up close and personal it for you car keys so I have Totoro which someone told me he's a cat and I thought he was a bunny what the heck I always thought he was a bunny and then I have my the Face Shop membership card, I have my car key, I have my house keys, I have this lanyard thing that I got. I forgot where and when I got it, but I got it because my boyfriend broke my other one. My Hello Kitty one that I really, really loved, he broke it. don't even know how he broke it because he broke two other ones next to that one. It's ridiculous. But yeah, car keys. Oh, there's one more thing on here I forgot to show you. I have Chopper is on my keys chopper. He's original. He, I have a little stuffed animal of him in my car, but I took him out because I want to add Totoro to the car, which is why he's on my car keys so I can remember. But I'm afraid that he might not fit on my rearview mirror. So yeah, that was so random, right? Okay, so next thing, I have a bag within a bag. This is a Marc Jacobs little leather tote bag, not a tote bag, like a little zipper bag that I got from Target from the holiday collection and in here this is what it looks like really I just keep stuff that would probably like be all over, all over the place in my purse so I have a baby lips in pink punch I think I think it's pink punch punch whatever at a Revlon just kiss just been kissable lip balm stain and this one is in the color oh I didn't have to open it to find the color it's in the color 020 Lovesick, and I love this stuff. Amazing. I have a mascara. This is the Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara. And in the summer, I bought the UK version, and it was like a metallic, really pretty packaging. And the American one is just really plastic and plain. I guess they don't really care about packaging here in America. But I loved it in the summer, and they finally came out with it this year. Like, they could have came out with it last year, and I would have been so excited because I was waiting for this mascara to come out. It's my fave. And then I have a paycheck. I have those checking deposit slips that I took from the bank <laughs> because I don't like asking for one. I just take a bunch. I have, what is this? <gasps> I have a mini sewing kit in case something sad happens. Um, what are these? I have another lip balm. This is the Nivea A Kiss of Cherry. I know, I have lip balms everywhere. I have hand sanitizer from the county that I live in. Like it says, the county where I'm living. And then I have, um, this is not eye drops, it's contact solution because I always get stuff in my eye. And then I have Visine because I can, I don't know. <laughs> and I guess that's it. Oh, and I have my W-4 because I'm supposed to be go. I should, yeah, I'm supposed to go get my taxes done, and I've been forgetting to go get my taxes done. So. 
Okay, and last thing is this little zipper pocket right here that's inside the bag that I have my wallet connected to. And since it's connected to my purse, they can't steal it unless they steal my whole purse. And you know, they're just going to end up somewhere. Somewhere bad, basically. So I have... I have my driver's license receipt thing. I don't know. I have the a sample of a BB cream. The L'Oreal one. I don't like that one, really. And then I have the My Couture lavender oil blotting sheets which are amazing and I'm running out and then I have bobby pins because I can't be anywhere without bobby pins and that is pretty much my entire purse is empty but my wallet because my wallet is like I said connected to my purse in case someone tries to steal it if they try to steal it they're screwed so that is everything in my purse I am actually going to be filming my room tour tomorrow get excited I just need to clean up really really quick um it's asian new year i think either, is it today i know i'm asian i'm supposed to know but it's supposed to be new year's this week i know that for sure and my mom wants the house spotless and she has not been to my room yet thank god because it's messy um slightly like i have laundry all over up in here my bed's not made and stuff like that and she wants it to be spotless so that's what I'm going to do um, after I edit this video. I'm going to clean my room and then I will film my room tour for you guys tomorrow. And yeah. Bye guys.